Why, hello there. I see you've come to improve your FNL game. <laughs> I'm Micah from Knights of the Table. Today we're going to show you how to save time and base. Let's get started. One thing that a lot of teams do that takes a lot of extra time and base is they come in with their attachments and then they put them on with those little pegs. And not only does that take a long time, but oftentimes when they take their attachments off, it leaves the little pegs in, and then they have to come and like fiddle around and get those off, and uh, they often spend maybe even a minute and a half of their two and a half minutes in base just doing that. So, how our team personally solves this problem is rather than connecting our attachments on with pegs, we make a little box shape and put smooth walls on our robot and then just put it on so that it can just slide down over and it stays on because of gravity. So this is, we feel that this is the best solution, but it does take a lot of pieces. So if your team doesn't have enough pieces to do this, then what you can do instead is just have a little strip that comes across over your motors and has the axles, the half peg, half axles that are attached to it that can just stick into holes on your robot rather than having the pegs go into those holes and it'll be able to come off a lot more easily. So how do you transfer power using a modular attachment? The way that we do it is with clutch gears. We have these pieces with four pegs sticking up and we have one of these four toothed gears and they mesh just like this, just slap it on right there and uh, then you, you transfer power quite well. It, it works very well. Here. So, we, we used to have a ton of programs, and we would always be like, how, how do you change programs super quickly? And so we came up with this idea. So we have a color sensor facing up in between our two clutch gears, and it will read a red chip, that way it knows which program to, to run. So there's like eight, eight colors in LEGO, and we're definitely not going to have eight programs. So we use this, and... In the programs, it'll say, if the color sensor reads red, it'll run this program. And that's a super efficient way of switching program. Why, hello there. I hope you enjoyed our video. I'm sure your FLL team will be spending much less time in base from now on. If you liked our video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below.